Hey guys, how's it going? Daniel here. So today I want to share with you what's on my iPhone, but my productivity setup that I'm currently using right now. Uh, so all the apps that help me to get stuff done every single day um, so like that I could be really productive on the iPhone. So let's get started. So first off, of course, let's start with the widgets all the way in the side here. So in the past videos, uh, whenever I did what's on my iPhone videos, um, this area of the phone was really never really taken care of um, ever since the update with iOS 14 and when Apple introduced widgets on the main home screen. So here are a few widgets here. I only have four widgets here and that's all I want to keep. I don't want to have a bunch of them on this side since this side, like I said, I want to try to give it a little bit more love. Um, so, here, so the first widget, of course, is the carrot weather widget, of course, uh, to see the weather throughout the week. And so it just makes it really easy, of course, to know if I need to dress up and what I need to wear uh, whenever I'm headed out, um, if it's going to rain, like it shows right here. Next, I have motivation. So motivation, of course, is an awesome widget that allows you to see motivational quotes um, to help you be a little bit much more, you know, productive and give you motivation uh, when you need motivation. Uh, so yeah, I always read this so that I could get that motivation that I need to get stuff done. Next, we have Castro. So it's been a while since I've talked about Castro, of course. I still use it as my main podcast app. And as you can see, I have a few podcasts right there that I need to listen to. Uh, but yeah, I just like having the widget there to see how many episodes uh, and what podcast I'm currently listening to. And also which ones are the next ones playing as well. Okay, and then I have PCAL. So PCAL is an old uh, app. It's an awesome calculator app. I currently use this, of course, to do all my calculations and everything. So a lot of it is when I go to the store and all that, I need to know the taxes and everything. I just quickly know, I just quickly punch it in from here and then I can see how much could it cost as well. Or whenever I need to do some calculations, of course, right here at home. Okay, so now the main setup right here in the main home screen. So first off, of course, let's start with the wallpaper. So the wallpaper is just a simple wallpaper setup I'm currently using. I got for free um, from the Reddit community right there. So yeah, it's just an awesome wallpaper design as well. So the widget. So the top widget, of course, is Notion. So Notion, of course, many of you guys know already, is an awesome app that allows you to do a lot of stuff, a lot of cool, interesting stuff. Um, so as you can see, here's my main dashboard here. Um, so here I can quickly track my habit tracker um, or like my YouTube Kanban board, which of course is where I currently use, of course, to track my videos, uh, what stage they are in, in production. So here are all the to-do videos. Here are the ones in progress. And then after that, the ones in uh, complete. So I should quickly, uh, I actually don't have this one, uh, the video idea that I had for this one, the productivity video, but anyways, it, this is, of course, an awesome way just to track everything that I'm currently doing um, and it just keeps everything organized as well. And the uh, just the widget here just makes it really easy to see uh, and quickly add stuff whenever I need to add stuff to different categories on the Notion app. Next, we have Apollo. So uh, I, this Apollo is a third party Reddit app. It's one, probably the best third party Reddit app out there right now. And I just love using this widget, the shortcut widget that they released, um, the developer, and allows you to quickly access whatever subreddit you have favorited on Apollo. So as you can see, I have uh, four here that I have. Um, there's another one that you can add six shortcuts as well. But I think four for me are just enough. So of course, one of my favorite ones is quickly check the iOS apps here to see any new apps here that I could quickly um, maybe uh, review in the future and share with you guys or maybe add them to the top 10 uh, interesting apps of July. So yeah, it's just really, really a fantastic shortcut. I mean, a fantastic widget to have um, since, you know, I really like, you know, everything to know a lot about Apple and interesting apps. So I usually check the Reddit community. Of course, here's where I got my wallpaper that I'm currently using this one right now by the iPhone wallpaper subreddit here. And then of course you could quickly just go to Wall Street Beds, which is a great community if you're into investing and all that. Uh, I always like checking up what they're, what they're talking about and everything and investing and everything. So yeah, Wall Street Beds. And of course, cause I'm Canadian. I have to go with the Canadian investor area to see what's happening in Canada when it comes to investing and money. Okay, so let's talk with apps now. So the first line of apps here is every day. So every day is an awesome tracking app that allows me to track my habits. So I've been currently using it now for a couple of weeks now, as you can see here. 
Um, and uh, so from here, I can quickly track habits of what I need to get done. Now, before I was using the free trial, of course, now I'm using the free version of the app. The app is there's an app subscription. So that's why I can only complete three, um, as you can see here. Uh, but yeah, before when I was using the free trial, I was tracking a lot of habits right here. So, but for now, I'm only tracking uh, three habits ever uh, and until I think about if it's worth it or not for me to subscribe, if it will work for me. But yeah, it's just a great way just to stay productive here and just track everything that you need to do, of course. And it just looks really awesome. I like the colors, of course, the design and everything. So it just really, really is fun to track everything that you need to get tracked as well. Next, we have YouTube Studio. So YouTube Studio, of course, has a new icon. Um, I don't know if I'm a fan of it. It looks like a stop sign. Um, but yeah, that's the YouTube Studio. And as many of you guys already know, it's for me to track my YouTube stats and everything uh, on YouTube. Next, we have Andel. So Andel is a, you know, meditation slash uh, noise app to help you relax a lot more uh, than uh, and just, you know, w whatever you want to relax in. Um, and what I like about this app is just really, really beautiful. Um, I'm going to see if it has a uh, light mode. Oops. It does not have a light mode. Huh. Okay, well, anyways. Uh, it's just a really, really fantastic app. There's different sounds that you can choose from. Uh, so you can choose uh, go to scenarios and de depending on what subject you want, you could quickly just change this, uh, the scene of it. So if you want to be, you know, if you're creating something like right now, it will change the sound and you could quickly control the minute of how long you want it to. And then just, yep, and you can start playing the sound and you'll be listening to some cool, interesting sounds as well. And I've used this, of course, just to focus in the background uh, whenever I'm working away and just need some noise, uh, white noise in the background. Next, of course, we have uh, my Well Simple Trade app right here, which a new video will be coming soon about that. So, you know, stay tuned for that video as well. Uh, Darkroom, of course, my photo editing app, whenever I need to edit my photos that I take on my iPhone or on, of course, on my mirrorless camera. Uh, InShot, of course, is to edit my videos. Um, Insider, it's uh, to listen to, I mean, read the news. So I'm, I'm an Insider Prime subscriber, I guess you could call it. So uh, I read a lot of the Prime, pre, oh, not Prime, Premium subscriber. Uh, I, you know, I read a lot of this stuff, you know, I'm into this type of stuff. So I really like Business Insider. I like their articles and everything that they release. So yeah, I just, uh, you know, I just have to support it uh, so that they keep making some cool, interesting content as well to read. And it gives me ideas as well for YouTube videos too. So, you know, it's a win-win for both sides. Next, we have MindNode. So MindNode is an awesome app that I've been currently playing around with to trying to help me create MindNodes uh, for YouTube videos. So whenever I need to make a YouTube video, I just do this and then I just add everything I need to add uh, as, you know, it's really interesting way to add videos. I mean, to set up your videos, of course. So you could quickly just make, uh, you know, kind of like a tree, a knowledge tree kind of stuff, what I call it, and quickly add different subjects uh, to what you need uh, your video to be about. And it just quickly keeps it nice and organized as well. It doesn't have to be just about videos, it could be about other projects that you're working on. So that, like that you know what, you know, what section of the project you should be working on and how they're all connected as well. Next, we have in the dock here is the notes app, uh, the notes app, Notion app right here, uh, Twitter course. So, you know, I have to have my Twitter app right here. Uh, you could just go and follow me as well. So if you haven't followed me, I highly recommend you follow me on Twitter. Uh, next, I have the five minute journal app. So this video uh, will be coming soon as well, where I'll be talking about this app as well. So I don't want to share too much with you. And then of course I have the uh, Halide or Halid uh, uh, camera app right there. On the next page, of course, we have the headlines widget. So in the headlines widget here is one of my favorite widgets ever released in iOS 14. Um, and so uh, here I can quickly see my favorite uh, art, uh, my favorite sites that I like to read in a daily basis. And sometimes I'm too lazy or not too lazy, but very busy to check every single site, of course, on the computer. I can quickly just see what's the latest article from each one. And then what's awesome is that whenever I tap it, of course, I get to see, of course, read in reader modes right here when it loads up. And then after that, when I'm done reading, it will automatically change it. But for some reason, it doesn't change it right now because since there's no, oh, there we go. So it will change it to a new article so that I can continue reading much more stuff depending on what, you know, whatever I'm subscribed to uh, when it comes to the new sites. 
Next, we have Water Minder. So Water Minder course is just an awesome tracking way to remind me to drink water course. So I forgot to add myself that I drink, you know, a few w w water today. And I just like this app. I just like going side to side like this and just moving it around. And it's just a really, really great way just to track your water and be reminded to drink some water as well, um, since it's very important to drink your water. And it gives you to, uh, the way to stay much more productive as well uh, when you drink water, of course you know, your brain needs water so you can focus a lot more better. Next, we have Syndrome Me, of course. I talked about this app is to, you know, watch YouTube videos that you subscribe to. Um, and then I have Bookmarks here, which is a great way to save interesting articles that maybe I find on Twitter. Of course, when I'm on Twitter here on the phone, I quickly save it to Bookmarks here and then I can quickly just read away um, and see, you know, and just continue reading. Uh, the Shopify app, which that's something I'm working on in the future. I'll talk to you guys about that. Canva, of course, is a great way to, I use this app a lot to edit my uh, YouTube thumbnails or to make thumbnails as well. I've not been using too much Photoshop. I've been using much more Canva uh, just cause it's really, really powerful, even though Photoshop is way much more powerful, but I'm not really an expert in Photoshop. So I use a lot of Canva as well. Um, next we have here is HEP. Uh, this is an interesting widget I'm currently still playing around with. Uh, so that's why it's in the third page when it comes to my productivity setup here. So with HEP, of course, it allows you to track or make routines or set up your routines for your daily uh, for your daily setups and everything. So as you see right now from 10 to 5, it's pretty much smartphone, uh, uh, PC, the news, YouTube, and uh, some other reminders I need to get done as well around the house. And then of course we have the Endo widget. We have Apollo, the app here, uh, Serene Analytics, of course, to track my analytics whenever it comes to the special project I'm working on the Shopify thing. And also with the uh, with the AdSense and everything as well. And then this new app I'm currently downloaded just yesterday, so I won't talk about it too much, although then it's called Airlist, that's all. And that's pretty much it for what's on my iPhone, of course. The rest is just the app library, of course, from there. But this is pretty much it for what's on what's my productivity set my productivity setup on the iPhone. Uh, so these are the apps that help me get stuff done, that help me stay updated around the world, of course, and it just keep me really productive on the iPhone. So that's pretty much it. If you guys did enjoy this video as much as I did, please do hit the subscribe button. That does help a lot. Like the video, and as always, I will see you guys later. Peace.